this video we are gonna see how to take trade in small cap and non FNO stock with NTD swing indicator first thing how to apply NTD swing trading indicator onto the chart for that we have made a separate video please go and check that video first so that you understand how to take trade with the help of swing trade trade indicator so first you need to know how to apply that indicator so for applying we have a, another video you can go and check that once you apply the indicator one thing you need to remember as we apply into the morning scanner indicator for one minute on the chart but for swing trading indicator three minutes chart is required if there's a different chart time if there's a different time frame selected on your chart like there's five minute 15 minute or one minute time frame selected on your chart make sure you change it to three minute time frame swing trade indicator only works on three minute time frame now here here on swing indicators will use this indicator for small cap and non fno stock and when we are using this indicator for small cap and non fno stocks we don't have leverage there and if we don't have leverage we can't create a short position in that we use this indicator for buying purposes only so if you want to buy a stock for at least a period of two to three days or beyond that then you can use this indicator entity swing indicator this will help you to identify the stock with the quantity and maximum loss amount now once you apply this indicator once you select three minute time frame after doing that again you need to go on this three dot and first thing you need to do is bring to visual order and you have to click on bring to front once that is done bring to front after that you can just click on setting here once you click on setting here first thing to remember is here you have two options one is maximum loss amount and one is maximum capital now you can enter the capital you want to initiate in a trade for example you have a capital of 2 lakh rupees and you want to initiate that in a single trade so what you can do is you can select maximum capital as 2 lakh rupees and you want to take a risk of around i guess for example 3000 rupees or 4000 rupees so i can select your maximum risk loss amount is 4000 rupees so on a 2 lakh rupees trade you won't be losing more than 4000 rupees in that particular trade so you are ready to take that risk you have a capital of 2 lakh once i click ok here whenever the first green candle enters a green zone similar as the morning scanner so whenever a first green candle now here if we see the first green candle this first green candle entered the green zone was at around 29th of jan monday at 10 27 so this was the candle when it entered the green zone as soon as the candle enters the green zone that initiates your trigger that initiates your entry and whenever the candle enters a green zone below you will get this by above 42.25 because the candle has entered the green zone and as per your risk reward ratio as per the amount you entered as per the capital you entered it will suggest you how much quantity you need to buy so that you don't lose more than 4000 rupees again quantity will be based on the loss amount so if my loss amount i have selected as not more than 4000 rupees so it will tell me okay if you are initiating 2 lakh rupees and you don't want to lose more than 4000 rupees so initiate quantity trade of 2963 your stop loss is the purple line below that is at 4090 here if i see again my total amount invested is only 1,25,000 out of 2 lakh only 1,25,000 it is suggesting me to invest why because I am not taking risk more than 4,000 rupees if I increase my risk amount my quantity will also increase and my full capital will be utilized so here if I see again for 2 lakh rupees it is saying me to just invest 1,25,000 and if I invest 1,25,000 from there if you may see you have initiated a maximum profit of around 70,000 so more than 50% return and that too from 29th of Jan if we see today is just 7th of Jan so within 10 days you are gaining more than 50% return from 1,25,000 you are gaining more than 50% return your maximum profit is around 70,000 rupees whereas your quantity is 2,963 and if the trade would have went wrong also you wouldn't have lost more than 4,000 rupees let us take an, another example now here now let us take a second example let us take an example with iob now once i select here again i'll decrease my risk here initiated first trade i initiated with 2 lakh rupees amount now suppose i only have a maximum capital of 1 lakh rupees i'll keep it at 1 lakh rupees my maximum loan uh, lo my maximum loss amount will be 2000 rupees and from there from 1 lakh rupees and 2000 rupees if i click ok and if i see it will suggest me again on 29th of january itself i got a trade why because a green candle entered a green zone whenever that happens that initiates your entry 
Now here at 10.24 that was the candle which entered the green zone so it initiated it triggered my entry. My entry was at above 47.90 it suggested me a quantity to purchase 1379 and my total amount invested here if you can see my total amount invested was only 64,950 so out of 1 lakh also only 64,950 around 65,000 was invested and from there if I see as of now as of 7th of Jan the stock has given me a maximum profit of around 45,160. So you can see this such a huge amount of return more than 60% of the return has been given to me within 10 working days and I have gained 45,000 rupees with an invested amount of 64,000 only and my maximum loss was 2,000 so if I was wrong also I would be not losing more than 2,000 but whenever I am right I am gaining more than 60% of the amount I invested. This is how you can take swing trade in non-FNO stocks and small cap stocks.